So QUIT stands for Common University Entrance Test that has been started this year to offer postgraduate programs or admissions to students in different universities. So this exam is conducted by National Testing Agency. Very often we get queries from our students regarding QIT PG like which university to apply to and what courses do they offer. So this video is going to be the stop solution for all the queries regarding QIT PG because you will get the complete list of QIT PG participating universities along with the biotech and life sciences courses that they offer. So let's begin. So QIT stands for Common University Entrance Test which has started this year to offer postgraduate programs to students in different central universities. So this exam is conducted by NTA. So under this QIT PG, there will be only single common entrance exam that will be for all different kind of universities that are included in this QIT list. So altogether, there are total 55 participating universities that offers PG programs to students on the basis of their Q8 scores. So out of these universities, two universities are the top ones. That are JNU, that stands for Jawaharlal Nehru University, that is in New Delhi, as well as BHU, that is Banaras Hindu University in Varanasi. And out of these, five universities are added recently to the list. That is Nirvan University, Bennett University, MJP Rohil Khand University, the Dayalbak Educational Institute, as well as Vikram in University. So all these universities, they are divided into or categorized into four main branches that is central universities, state universities, deemed universities and private universities. So let's dive into the list of participating universities as well as the biotech and life sciences courses that they offer. So let's first come to the central university that comes under Q8 PG. So the first university in the central university is Baba Sahib Bhim Rao Ambedkar University where they offer courses like MSc in Forensic Sciences and Criminology brain and cognition sciences as well as MSc in biotechnology. Under BSU, which is one of the topmost university under this Q8 PG that offers various courses like zoology, botany, biochemistry, health sciences, agriculture, genetics and plant breeding together. This is a common course, horticulture, MSc in mycology along with plant pathology as well as MSc in plant physiology. So if you are a resident of Andhra Pradesh, so you can go for either of the two universities to pursue a master's program under q PG courses. So the first is Central University of Andhra Pradesh and the second is Central Tribal University. Make sure both these universities are different. So under Central University of Andhra Pradesh, you will get various courses like Biochemistry, Biotechnology, MSc in Microbiology, zoology, botany, and again, a specialization is there that is marine biotechnology and advanced field like molecular genetics as well as human genetics. But Tribal University of Andhra Pradesh that offers only a single course that is MSc Biotechnology. Now, Central University of South Bihar, it offers only two courses that is MSc in Biotechnology as well as Microbiology. If you want to pursue your MSc in Life Sciences, you can go for Central University of Gujarat. Central University of Haryana again offers many courses such as Biotechnology, Biochemistry, Microbiology. Again, a specialization is there that is Industrial Biotechnology. So if you want to learn more about uh, fermentation process and industrial aspects of biotechnology, so you can go for this Haryana University and also MSc in Immunology. So this is one of the uh, only university that offers immunology specialization. So if you want to pursue your master's or PG in immunology, so you can go for this university. Now coming to next university that is Central University of Himachal Pradesh that is HP. It again offers an MSc or master's program in an emerging field that is bioinformatics. So you can go for computational biology and bioinformatics together. This is a one uh, branch and or you can go for MSc botany. Jammu offers two courses like MSc zoology or MSc in environmental sciences. 
In Central University of Jharkhand, you will again get two courses like MSc Biology or MSc Environmental Sciences. Karnataka offers only a single course that is MSc in Life Sciences. Now Central University of Kashmir. Again, you can see two courses are there, MSc Botany or you can go for MSc Biotechnology. Central University of Kerala, again it offers two or three courses like MSc Genomic Science. You can go for MSc in Molecular Biology along with Biochemistry. So you can see this is a single course, Molecular Biology and Biochemistry, where you'll get the complete knowledge of both these fields as well as MSc in Plant Sciences. Central University of Odisha, it offers only a course that is MSc in Biodiversity and Conservation of Natural Resources. So this course is more similar to environmental science. So if you really have interest for this course, so you can go for it. Otherwise, you have to skip this Odisha choice. So Central University of Punjab, again, you can see biotechnology, environmental science, and technology again here new branches are there or you can say new courses are there like msc in synthetic biology as well as system biology central university of rajasthan it offers three courses like msc in biotechnology biochemistry as well as microbiology tamil nadu offers a integrated msc life sciences program so this is a very good choice for you so you can go for it and along with it it also offers for msc microbiology dr harsing gaur vishwavidyalay that is hs gaur that is in sagar madhya pradesh it offers two courses that is msc biotechnology again this is a forensic science course so if you are interested for this so you can go for this hs gaur university Guru Ghasi Das Vishwavidyalay that offers three courses like Botany, Zoology as well as Biotechnology. Hemvati Nandan you can see only two courses are there that is Botany as well as Zoology. IGNTU that is Indira Gandhi National Tribal University. It offers three courses where two courses are core course like Botany and Zoology and other one is biotechnology so you can see msc biotechnology you can see in many university that is common for all so apart from it you will get some kind of specialization some kind of different field and otherwise you will see biochemistry microbiology biotechnology in all the universities now next is Jawaharlal Nehru University, which is a top rated university. So you can see they are offering integrated MSc along with PhD. So it's a very good opportunity for you all. So here you can see integrated MSc PhD program in computational along with integrative sciences. That is they are offering SISM course. Next is integrated MSc PhD program in molecular medicine that is CMMM and also they offer a course or degree in MSc life sciences but not biotechnology. Manipur University you will only find a single course that is a MSc in biotechnology and Mahatma Gandhi Central University again it's similar is MSc biotechnology. In Northeastern Hill University you will find three to four degrees like MSc in biotechnology and bioinformatics. So if you're going for this course, you will get both degrees along with it. Like you will be uh, trained for biotechnology expect also, as well as bioinformatics. Also, you can do uh, MSc biochemistry there or core subjects like you can take up zoology or either botany. So Pondicherry, if you are a resident of Pondicherry or other resident, but if you want to pursue your master's in Pondicherry, so you can go for MSc, Microbiology, Bioinformatics, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. So you can see again, this is a single course that is MSc in Biochemistry as well as Mall Bio. Sikkim University offers only one specialization course in Biotechnology and that too is Medical Biotechnology. Tejpur University gives a very good chance to work with nanosciences and technology where you will see a MSc course in nanosciences and technology and other course is molecular biology and biotechnology. So both courses are very good. So if you want, you can pursue your MSc or master's in Tejpur University. 
Tripura University offers only a specialization that is medical biotechnology and the last is University of Hyderabad under Q8 PG Central University where it offers many courses like MSc in biotechnology, MSc in biochemistry, integrated MSc PhD in biochemistry along with molecular biology. So this is a good uh, chance for you. So MSc in plant biology as well as biotechnology or you can either go for animal biology along with biotechnology. So these are all the 30 universities that are included in Q8 PG Central University. So now let's come to the next university or category that is Q8 PG state list and the courses that they offer. So here you can see only seven universities are there. The first is Madan Mohan Malvi University of Technology. The second is MGP Rohil Khand. As I mentioned, this is a newly university added to this list. The third is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University. Fourth is Arunachal University of Studies. Fifth is Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam Technical University. Sixth is Vikram. Again, this is a newly added one. And the seventh is Devi Ahilya Bhai Vishwavidyalaya. That is in Indore. So now let's see the courses that they are offering. So Madan Mohan Malvi University, it offers four to five courses like MSc in Biotechnology or you can go for MSc in Biochemistry or MSc in Microbiology. If not, you can go for core subjects like Botany or Zoology. So MJP Rohil Khand University, that is a newly established. So it offers four courses like MSc in Microbiology, MSc in Botany, MSc in Animal Sciences or you can either go for Plant Sciences. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, it offers only two courses that is MSc in Biotechnology, so MSc in Microbiology. So if you want to pursue your Master's in Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University, so you have only two choices here. Arunachal is University of Studies, you can go for either MSc in Agriculture, Botany or Zoology. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University, it offers only a single course that is MSc in Biotechnology. Vikram University, that is a newly established, it offers five courses like Biotechnology, Biochemistry, Microbiology. And also you can go for Botany as well as Zoology. Devi Ahilya Bhai Vishwavidyalaya, it offers again a new branch or you can say emerging field or different program like MSc in Genetic Engineering. So if you are interested to work for or to study for this uh, gene cloning, RDT part or Genetic Engineering, so you can go for this Indore University that is Devi Ahilya Bhai Vishwavidyalaya. And what are the courses that it offers? It offers MSc Life Sciences courses as well, Biotechnology, Industrial Microbiology, that is a specialization of microbiology you can see and also MSc Biochemistry. So this is all about the Q8 PG State University lit and what are the different courses that they offer. Now let's come to the third category that is Q8 PG Deemed University. Now there are many universities that are included in this list but make sure we are talking and focusing only on the biotech and the life sciences courses that they offer. So accordingly there is only one institute or you can say one university under this and that too is a newly added university that is Dayal Bagh Educational Institute and the courses that it offers is MSc Biochemistry, MSc Botany or Zoology. So there is no biotechnology option, but if you want to pursue your master's in biochemistry, so you can go for this Dayal Bagh Educational Institute. Now let's come to the last category that is Q8 PG Private University. Now what all private universities are included in this Q8 PG courses? So there are only five universities and the first is Apex University. The second is Galgotias. The third is Sanskrit University. Fourth is Vivekanand Global University and the last one is Nirvan University. Again, this is a newly added university, Nirvan University. So, let's see what all courses does Apex University offers. So, you can see MSc in Forensic Sciences, MSc in Botany, MSc in Genetics and Plant Breeding. So, there are three courses you can go for this Apex University. Galgotias offers MSc in Biochemistry. MSc in Forensic Science, MSc in Microbiology, as well as MSc in Biomedical Science. So again, this is a new field you have seen here, MSc in Biotech Biomedical Science that was not there in Central University, State University, as well as Deemed University. Sanskriti University offers only a single course that is a MSc Biotechnology. Vivekanand Global University that offers MSc Botany, Zoology, as well as Forensic Sciences.
and the nirvan university that is a recently established uh, you can say university that offers many courses like botany you can go for zoology as well biochemistry microbiology as well as genetics and plant breeding together so this is all about the courses that the universities offer and all these universities are included under Q8 PG list. So if you want to send, go for central university, you can go for that or state university or deemed or private. So it's totally depend on your choice. So we have come to an end. So thanks everyone for watching this session. So just grab the opportunity, whatever you are getting, just be relaxed, be calm and be safe. Take whatever you are getting and lead further. So if you like the session, share this link to all your friends because they all have written this Q8 exam. So they will be getting an idea like which university to apply to and what courses they can go for it. So thank you once again for your time and patience. Meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day. Keep learning.